Apart from COVID crisis, India in 2020 dealt with cyclones, forest fires, gas leaks, explosions, and the locust attacks. And interestingly, these are all interconnected. This is our story on the locust attacks. Grasshoppers, crickets, and locusts are all from the same family. There is no taxonomic distinction between grasshoppers and locusts, except in one thing. Locusts have two phases of life, solitary and gregarious. In solitary phase, desert locusts are seen in less number and do not pose any major economic threat. But in gregarious phase, the scenario is quite different. They breed excessively. They eat food of their body weight every day. Their brain grows and body shrinks. They become highly migrative, forming bands and swarms. A typical swarm can consist up to 150 million locusts per square kilometer and travel at a speed of 150 kilometers a day in the direction of winds. They pause and eat away any vegetation in their path. These swarms can eat food amounting around 35,000 people's food a day. These locusts can transform from solitary to gregarious at any point of their life. They just need certain environmental conditions. Having water and lush vegetation availability after droughts are the suitable condition for locusts to transform into gregarious phase and form swarms. Invasion of locusts are not new to the world or to India. These were even categorized as plagues. Locusts are the oldest migratory pest known to the human history. Ancient Egyptian tomb dated around 2400 BC have seen to consist pictures of locusts. Locust attacks were even cited in the religious texts of Bible, Quran and the Mahabharata. In 19th century, the attacks were quite high around the world. Nations in Arab and Northeast Africa were the most affected. 1874 was even noticed as the year of locusts. In India, around 1926 to 32, a number of locust outbreaks were seen, resulting in huge agricultural losses. In British India, a permanent locust warning organization was formed in 1939 with its headquarters at Delhi. And in 20th century, these attacks were successfully controlled. But recently, in 2018, a number of cyclones were noticed in the Arabian Sea, resulting water in even deserts like Rubal Khali, followed by floods in 2019 in many East African countries. This gave the desert locusts suitable conditions to breed and migrate, forming swarms. A recent cyclone in Bay of Bengal of 2020 let the swarms travel with winds to India. Countries like Somalia and Pakistan have even declared a state of emergency to deal with this outbreak. A widely used possible solution is to use powerful pesticides, but there is a flaw. Use of pesticides will kill locusts and also cause soil and water pollution, which will in turn cause global warming, resulting in more humidity and cyclones and creating needful environmental conditions for the locusts for further attacks. A company called Novacred created fungal pesticide powerful enough to kill the locust and cause no harm to the environment. The second possible solution is to use it as feed. Locusts are a high source of protein, which makes it a very good feed for poultry. Interestingly, China is sending ducks to help Pakistan deal with this emergency. The third option is human consumption. In ancient times, locust plagues once led to unavailability of food, which in turn led to consumption of locusts. This interestingly turns out to be a traditional dish in many countries. Comment below what you think would be the right solution to deal with this. Do like, share and subscribe to never miss an update.